Welcome back to Total Carp Fishing TV. Today you join me and Matt back at the Club Lake and we're having a look at the Ziggos from Ridge Monkey. Now this is an adjustable zig and we've been catching on zigs down here at the Club Lake for the last few sessions so we thought what better opportunity than to give these a go. So I'm going to get these out, Matt's already got his out, see if we can get a few fish. Right, first rod going out. It's deep there. So I know the adjustable zig is on the surface now, so all I need to do is measure back from the first eye down to the real seat, and I know that that is the length of my zig. So once I've brought that line back, I know that the zig itself is going to be sitting on the top and then I can just adjust it from there on how far I want it to be under the surface. Done it the unorthodox way. We're in. <laughs> so that's now on the surface, so it's just a case of counting down. And I'm going to go for two foot under for this one. So there we go, that's all set. I'm gonna give it half an hour, and then what I can do from here, because it's an adjustable zig, I can just adjust it to whatever depth I want later down the line. So I'll probably go down a foot every half an hour, see what happens. Beautiful. I tell you what, it's nice being in a T-shirt. Someone's also put a stick in the swim just here, and I keep tripping over it. So if we fall in, joke's on me. All right then. Rod number two. Beautiful. Having a little race behind us. Don't mind them, cheeky monkeys. Well, that went out. Like a dream, like a little pocket rocket. Love it. So I need to sink my line and then I can sort out the depth. I'm gonna go three foot under on this one. Maybe even four, who knows. That bite came a bit quicker than expected. Although saying that, each time I've been down, I've been able to get a quick bite. And usually if I can get the rod back out, I'll get another bite pretty soon after. So that's a fresh zig, all tied up there. Little black and red one. It's all ready to go.
So there you go, that went out nice and easily. Try and straighten up that line. Well, foot. That's where I got the last bike from. I'm actually going to bring it all the way back down. I'll work my way up. Just so I can keep some tightness in my line. Keeping that line nice and straight out to the, uh, to the float. Well, there you go, that's three rods out there. I think it's about time that I got that carp out. Well, there you go, he may not be a big one, but he is about as cool as they come. Really, really dark, lovely big scales all over him. And there you go, that's the other side. Equally as dark, equally as scaly, and equally, if not, a little bit nicer. Proper cool little fish. Get a few snaps of him now, get him slipped back. Well, we're only down for the day today and it's getting on a bit. So I'm just gonna have one final rechuck, freshen the rods up for the last hour or so. Because often that bite comes straight after casting out. So hopefully by doing this, I'll nab a quick bite before I'm off home. Well, there you go, that's the end of the day. No more carp, but we'll be back next week to finish things off, and hopefully we'll pick another one or two up then. Well, we're back down at the Club Lake. Um, once again, fishing with the Zagos, trying them out and seeing if we can catch a couple of carp on them. Now, when we actually got here, it was horrendously windy. It was properly blowing a gale, massive crosswinds cutting along the lake. I started off on one side. There was a few fish showing in close, um, but they seemed to back off a little bit after chucking a few rigs at them. So we've moved back around into the swims we were in before. Um, like I said, it was a massive crosswind, but even so, the Ziggo still went out there a dream. Um, and all that I really needed to do was tighten that line right down, give it plenty of time under tension until the line straightened out. And then from there, I could just start popping the, the Ziggo up to the surface, see what sort of depth I was in and set the zigs accordingly. So now that the wind's dropped a little bit, I'm gonna get this rod out there a little bit further because I've got a feeling they might be holding off a little bit further than I was fishing initially. So yeah, we'll give it a go. Out she goes. Well, good morning. It is about half eight, nine o'clock, and nothing has happened for me or Matt, unfortunately. I say nothing. I've had a couple of liners, well, we think they've been liners. Um, but other than that, nothing's really happened. Uh, the wind has been absolutely dreadful. It's a bit calmer now, which is nice. But when you're trying to zig fish, wind isn't usually your friend. But I do have to say, we've both been pretty pleased with the Ziggos. Um, I've only had one tangle, and like I say, the wind was absolutely horrendous. Uh, especially when I was redoing the rods later last night, it was really bad and the rain was horrendous. So trying to cast the zig out at reasonably long range isn't easy. So I wasn't expecting it to be absolutely perfect every single go, but the, the pretty 90% of them pretty much were, which was really good. Um, and what's nice about using the adjustable zig is the fact that 
if that line starts peeling off and the float comes up, you know you're fishing, so it's a bit of a confidence booster. Um, whereas if you're casting out a normal zig, you might be umming and ahhing whether or not it's tangled on the cast, but at least you know you're always fishing if that float comes up, which has been really good. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame really that nothing's happened. We've been really successful recently on zigs. Uh, obviously Matt had that one from the last session that we had and we'd like to have carried it over into this one, but the weather's just been, well, you can see them in a big coat. I've got two layers on. It's a lot colder than it was when we were last here. The wind's been bad. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses now, but I just don't think the conditions have been as good as they were last time, maybe. Eh, or maybe I'm just making excuses. Either way, we've given it a good effort. We don't have too much longer left until the end of the session, so I'm gonna sign it off here unless something happens as we're packing up, as we're tidying away. You never know, that could be, well, it could happen. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and remain hopeful for the rest of the session. Um, we did see a few fish out there this morning. Saw a lot of fish yesterday, but that's fishing. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. And on this occasion, it hasn't so far. So, But it has been a pleasure to use the Ziggos and definitely will be using them throughout my fishing especially as it gets a bit warmer they're a valuable piece of kit to have in your armory so yeah hope you've enjoyed the video um and i'm hoping that after we've cut this there'll be another fish to show you but if not i hope you've enjoyed and make sure you subscribe to the channel